OK, so the shape of a vase uh, pictured here can be modelled by rotating the curve with equation 8x squared minus y minus 4 squared equals 32 between y is 0 and y is 10. OK, uh, completely about the y-axis. The vase has a base. Uh, find the volume of water needed to fill the vase, giving your answer as an exact value. So because we're rotating about the y-axis, then we're going to be using the formula uh, integral of pi x squared dy. OK? So we just need to make sure we rearrange this equation into the form of x squared equals. So 8x squared minus y minus 4 squared equals 32. So we can add the y minus 4 squared to both sides. So 32 plus y minus 4 squared. And then we can divide both sides by 8. OK, so we're going to get x squared is equal to 4 plus 1 eighth of y minus 4 squared. OK, now because it's y minus 4 squared, it makes sense to expand that out because it's just going to be easier to integrate. So we've got, we've got 4 plus 1 eighth of y squared minus 8y plus 16. So we're going to have 1 eighth y squared. Uh, we've got 1 eighth of minus 8y, so minus y. 1 eighth of 16 is 2. Add the 4 is 6. So we have the integral of pi. Let's put that pi on the outside of the integral. Of 1 eighth y squared minus y plus 6 dy integrated between 0 and 10. OK? So the hardest bit of this problem is really just making sure you can rearrange it to get x squared equals, OK? The integration from here on is very straightforward. So we've got pi lots of add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So we're going to have 1 over uh, 24y cubed. Then we've got minus a half y squared plus 6y evaluated between 0 and 10. OK, so let's get the calculator ready. So substitute in 10. It's got 1 over 24 times by 10 cubed. Take away a half times 10 squared uh, plus 6 lots of 10. So that's 155 over 3. And then substituting in 0, well, I get 0. OK, and so our final answer is 155 pi over 3. And that is the exact value of the volume of the water that will fill the vase.